Matthew 6, 19 to 24, Jesus said, your money can't stay neutral. Either you're going to serve the money or serve God. You can't, you can't remain neutral with money. Either the money goes under God's total control or it controls us. That's what he says, it's too powerful. If you don't give it to me, it'll control you. If you surrender it to me, I control it. You can't. It, it's very, notice what he says, verse 19. Don't lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. There's going to be a constant stacking temptation. Don't do it. Verse 20, but lay up treasures in heaven. Verse 21, why should we do that, Jesus? Because where your treasure is, your heart will be also. And so what should we do? Verse 24, remember, no one can serve two masters. Either you'll hate the one and love the other, or you'll be loyal to the one and despise the other. Here it is. You can't serve God and your money. So you got to realize that it belongs to him anyway, because he bought us at a price. And therefore, we belong, and everything attached to us belongs to him. So number one, your money can't be neutral. Either you'll serve your money, or you'll serve God. Number two, chapter 25. Now there, we're skipping over a lot of his words, but look at Matthew 25. Here's a, a very interesting insight Jesus gets. And it's kind of what we need to know right up front. Matthew 25, 18. Jesus said, never forget, your money already belongs to God and you're just the steward. Now, that's the parable of the talents. Now, now listen to what it says in the 18th verse. You remember what the story's about? The master, that's Jesus, talks to these three, and he gives them something that they're supposed to use in their life, and at the end of their life, he's going to call them and account for it. Kind of like all of us, that, that he created us, as it says in Ephesians 2.10, for a purpose. For, we were created for good works. We were, and, and he gave us everything we have in life as a stewardship. But look what it says in verse 18. But he who had received the one went and dug in the ground and hid, look what it says. New King James says, his Lord's money. The NIV says, his master's money. There's the essence of what Jesus was teaching. He said, it's not yours anyway. If you belong to me, everything you have belongs to me. Your children, your career, your time, your money, your possessions, they're all mine. Jesus said, don't forget, your money already belongs to God. We're God's stewards. That's what the whole story is about.